bim 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 I let the bunsam lick you. I, 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 Shane, we are back. We are back again. Castro, match number two. Yeah. How are we feeling, bro? Yeah, good. I don't see myself. Same outcome as last time. Same outcome as last time, but I'm going to end this one um, a lot cleaner. In a lot cleaner fa fashion. No, no sloppy business like last time. Did you expect him to take the match up? Yeah, I know he wanted redemption. I, I knew it was going to come. You felt it? Yeah, I knew it was going to come um, eventually. <laughs> Yeah. How do you feel you've improved since the last time to now? Way better. I'm a lot cleaner now because of um, all the heavies I've been doing, all the hard sparring. All I did before for the last fight, I just did a lot of pad work. That was most of my, um, most of my, where my skills came from. And then when I found out that I had the fight, that's when I started doing heavies. I only had about two months or like a month and a half, but now I've been doing heavy sparring and, and I, I've been doing a lot of sparring for, um, quite a while now. So besides from the heavy sparring, what's actually changed that you feel from last time? I'm a lot smarter with uh, picking my shots now. I've seen that in, in sparring. Before I used to be um, a bit jittery and things like that, but now I'm a lot, a lot more cleaner and um, a lot cooler, a lot more um, calm and collected. Well, I'm sure you've seen Castro's things every now and then on TikTok, seeing some of the videos of his training. What's your thoughts on how he's improved or if he has improved? He posted this uh, video on his Instagram story and it was him doing some bad bag work. It was just sloppy. His hand was down a lot of the time. It was just a lot of flaws that I saw and so I'm just not, I'm not worried uh, about his strike. I, I don't respect his striking at all going into this fight but I have seen some of his um, grappling videos. I think on TikTok it got shared to me. His grappling's gotten, gotten better so yeah. So how do you feel about that? Because remember that was a weak point last time in the fight. There was a big difference between the grappling of Castro's and the grappling of yours. How do you feel like you're going to deal with that problem now? I think now I'm going to stuff his takedowns and um, with the killers over here, we're very good um, wrestlers over here, very good um, jiu-jitsu athletes over here. My takedown defense against them has been very good, so uh, I think it's going to show in this um, rematch. Aside from that, what's your intention with this fight? Do you want to go for a specific finish? How do you see this fight playing out this time around? This fight, uh, round two TKO, that's what I want to aim for. First round, I want to get him used to certain shots and in the second round I want to faint those shots that I got him used to and then uh, hit him with a different shot after fainting. How do you feel that this time is going to be in Melbourne, your home, hometown, home crowd as opposed to being in enemy territory, Sydney? Okay, so last time I was in a building with a bunch of people to prove wrong and hopefully this time I'll have a lot more people to prove right and honestly I'd rather have people to prove right than people to prove wrong because yeah, I just want to prove my supporters right. After this match is said and done, what do you want from it besides the victory? Is there anything else that you want from it? I just want to get more fights straight out, just get this one this one, easy money, get my name out there again, and then um, move on to the next fights. But this time I don't want to do, my next fight after this, I don't want it to be no TikTok shit. I want it to be an actual, actual MMA belt with an actual amateur. Now, one more thing I want to get into is when we were interviewing one another, sorry, when I was interviewing you, we manifested having that belt up on the wall. We sat on those blue mats over there up against the wall, we visualized it, and now, lo and behold, the belt's there. How does it feel and how does it... How I spoke that into reality? Yeah, how, how you spoke it into reality and how you can actually see that what you put out into the world attracted and you've actually got that belt on the wall. Yeah, I feel, I feel um, that kind of reinforced my belief in manifesting because, you know, before like, before I was a bit, you know, sometimes manifesting would work and sometimes, you know, it wouldn't for me, but that, that one like reinforced it for me. Um, and made me sure that, like, made me sure that manifesting does it is a real thing. And um, for this next fight, every time I visualize this fight, I always see my hand up, just like how I was when I was visualizing visualizing the last fight. I always saw my hand up. This one, I see my hand up. I see his head down. I see him, you know, giving me a clap to re respect my play. And I also see me on top of the cage after winning with a Sri Lankan flag, me holding the flag behind my back. That's what I. That's what I'm visualizing. I'm telling you now, I'm very confident that's going to happen. That, that's going to be on my Instagram. I can picture it and, and soon you guys will be able to see that on my Instagram. Hopefully, inshallah. Is there any final words that you want to say with this pre-interview, before the fight, before the training and everything like that? I said my predictions. I said my visualizations. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to train hard in this camp. I'm going to make sure those, those predictions and visualizations uh, come into reality. 
So yeah, I think I've I think I've said enough so far. Good. That's it. Good. Run to Shakur. Run to Shakur. Let's go. You can strike in between if you want, but if he gets up, you stop. And stop reset. Keep him there. Use your hips. Use your hips to pin. Good. Nice Shakur. Up, 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 up. Work out of here. Work out of here. Stay on top of him, stay on top of him, stay on top of him, stay on top of him. Keep working, keep working, keep working, keep working. We escape or sweep him. Up, 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 up. Good. Reset back. Nice. Stay on it, Shakur. Stay on it, stay on it. Blue ball up. Squat and throw. Squat and throw. High as you can. Hey, again. Hey. And sit on your ass, give you back. Sit on your ass, give you back. And survive, 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 survive. Fight the hands, fight the hands, fight the hands. Stay relentless, Shakur. Oh, fight the hands, Shane. Tap, 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 tap. Reset. Go, 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 go. Straight away, straight away. Time, breathe. Jab, 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 Control that leg. Control that leg if you can, Shane. Reset. And side control, side control, side control. Gotta stay defensively away with the punches as well, Shane. Time. Big blue ball. Yalla. Up. Good. Again. On your back, on your back. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Okay. Don't let him get the trick. Don't let him get it. Tap it in. Time. Well done. Good. Breathe. One more round. Right. Second bell won't come in. <laughs> Keep working, bro. Last round. And go to Shakur. Good. Stay heavy on him. Stay heavy on him. I'm gonna kick you up like that, bro. Hips in. Hips in on those legs. On your back and side control, on your back and side control, on your back and side control, on your back and side control. I can't accept this chance to move, bro. I know it sucks, you gotta move. Good, hit the escape out. Recover that arm, recover the arm. And big blue ball, big blue ball. Good, again. Good, one more, one more. Good, give it back. If you get tapped out, you owe me 20 burpees. Do not get tapped out. Do not get tapped out. Survive it. 10 seconds. Do not get tapped out. Do not get tapped out. Time. Breathe. Well done. Hands up. Good. Mashallah. Well done. How was that? All right, we're making this. No, no, it's good. Cool. Shane, explain your way in there so far. Yeah, actually, I was think? actually a bit underweight, so I was sipping on water not too long ago just to get back up. But yeah, I'm on weight. Small's a bit. I feel like I could do better, like extra small might be a bit more secure. Shane? Shane? Ashani sounds better. Ashani? Ashani sounds better. There's a ring to it, doesn't it? After tomorrow night, you will be Ashani. Castro! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is a TikTok super boy. Let's welcome from the blue corner, Castro Sale. That's gold. 58 kilograms for Castro Sale. And he's a pro. Please welcome O'Shane Pereira. Let's go. 58.3 kilograms for O'Shane Pereira. Uh, 
What the fuck was all that? Like, hey, that was the best face off of the whole night. This one. Gerard's one, yeah? <laughs> bro, when they're in their numbers, when they're in their numbers, they feel they, they, they can act all tough because they, they got their boys around them. When it's just them, they wouldn't have done that. If they came in like, with the numbers we have, they wouldn't have done that. Now we got the shades here. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel good. Um, I think because of the meal, my stamina was a bit like a little bit off, but I think. When it comes but time. keep in mind boys with these sessions that we're doing right now it's the shakeout so if we didn't do a training session right now and you went into the fight you'd feel exactly how you're feeling right now but in the fight we don't want that all right so we've got a shane's dad here how you feeling brother i'm feeling um wonderful right now <laughs> you nervous for the night ahead i'm pretty pretty confident my son will be in, yeah good have you spoken to him since yes just just about 10 minutes ago okay what is he saying uh he said go and get calm <laughs> Go get calm. Besides that, did you speak about the fight at all? No, I didn't. No. Okay, but this time it's in Melbourne, so we've got a lot of friends and family coming, right? Yep. How yeah. do you reckon that'll be? They're going to help him uh, mentally, I believe. All my friends coming. Yeah, our family's coming, yep. Yeah. Things will go good. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, inshallah. All right, boss, man, did you eat? I had rice and then squeeze of honey for some more carbs and then an apple. Might as well already. Might as well just give that to me now. Thank you, Forza, for gifting me these gloves. New training gear for you. Lucky boy. Complained that he didn't have MMA gloves, Let's so it fits go. perfectly for him. Say me and Castro's fight wasn't on this card and it was just like HT versus the other gyms. Do you reckon they'd have that much security? Or do you think it's like just because me cause. and because. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Lucky boy. Lucky boy. Yeah. How does it feel? It feels very nice. The corner of this side. Are you Are you back up against if, the cage. If, feel it. if blue corner's this side. You almost cut your foot, you fucking idiot. This guy. Oh. Legit, you dumbass. Oh, yeah, put your back up against the cage and feel it. How's it feel? It's full of booty on it. <laughs> Rolling your back up so you can feel it. It's not like, it doesn't like, if, when I get pressed up against the XFC one, it kind of hurts a bit. It this does, right? Like a bit of, like a bit of like cushioning. Like, right. it goes back a bit. Curves in. A bit springy, yeah. A bit awkward. Yeah, it just bounces back, bro. It's Oosh, who does WWE? Oh yeah. Oosh. Look at these fighters. They're actually nice. They like have some respect for the game, you know? <laughs> well, well, boys here, you know, all kicking back. No one's trying to start nothing. But like when fucking ATT comes, bro, they're gonna be like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, staying heavy, beautiful, coming around, getting his hands on the mat, yep, keep him low, good, beautiful, good, step over the leg and get your ass on the floor, ass all the way to the mat, now turn towards him because now you can get a side control even half guard, you advance in a greater position, if you stay on top like that, don't get me wrong, it may not be too bad, but I want you to get in a more advantageous position. You want to get it, just get it. Just feel that pressure. Every time I see a bed bend, they want to rest now. Switched on, and 20 seconds into that third round, pull the sleeve. I think he's just cocky, arrogant, and just like. Where will we get you?
Shane did have some moments. One last fighting out of Australian top team in Wentworthville, New South Wales, Castro Sunland. Fighting out of XFC in Narry Warren, he is the current reigning and defending UFN King of TikTok champion. Yeah, all right, you do it. 
you look tremendous. Look at that girl. Put your hands together for you and the men. Two top champions have a big champion. I'm saying, I instilled a lot of fear into him, That's, that was my aim. Just instilling fear. I was looking at him the whole time when he was walking around, and I knew he didn't want it. Like, remember, at the start I was looking at him, and I was saying you don't want it, because I could see he looked very nervous. I told you they played around good. Yeah, that's gonna be a long night. We didn't, we didn't, especially when, the, when he was baiting you, you didn't play that game. You were just, you were being patient, and then you found your shot. That's what we wanted from the start. The head movement, and the, the head movement, knocks the guy out, goes the head movement, and the shot. Well done, bro. That was their karma. Honestly, the way they were acting at the weigh-ins, no respect for, no respect for the sport. We come in there, we want to weigh in, we want to have our fights, we want to make it big, we want to go. The UFC. We can't do that without having our amateur fights and they come with their numbers and they try and staunch out everyone, it just makes it really uncomfortable for everyone and they were, that's their karma. Yeah. Um, Shakur had a draw but we all know who won, he had a draw against ATT but we, we know who won, Shakur won that. Now it's up to these boys to win against them, Jawad and Mush, uh, no, Mush is not fighting ATT, Jawad now, mm -hmm. it's up to Jawad to fight ATT. Hopefully, I believe he can get the win, and then HT leaves with no wins. That's what they get. I love it. I love it. Can we go for a workout? You know, a lot of them were like, a lot of them in the crowd, they were like, I'm gonna get you after that. I was like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, the H. Oh, when you walked in, yeah? Yeah, and also, no, 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 when I walked out, there was some next to Kara's area. After the fight. Oh. Fight. And also H, yeah, you know H, the guy that I want to fight, the one who kept eyeing me down in the weigh-ins. He was like, he was like, he was like doing that. And you know what I said to him in the cage? I was like, yeah, you're next, you're next. Oh, I'll take him on in October. Next part of the I'll take him on. That's an official call out. That's an official call out. Let's That's go. an official call out. Let's go. He's the one who was being. I don't know. Last fight, he was being racist. He was calling me names. I'm, I'm not gonna say. And then. He's actually the guy that I went up to. Me and him have had like a bit of disputes for a while now. Me, um, I'm the one, remember at the end of the last fight where I went to there, so I was like, what now? I was actually aiming that right at him. And he was saying, you're next, but at that time I wasn't confident in my abilities too much, so I didn't want to say, I didn't want to call him out at that time. But right now, after the work that I've put in, I think I can take him on. I know I can take him on. Yeah, hey, Shane. Oh, sorry, fuck, Dion, sorry, bro. <laughs> it's all on my mind, bro, straight up. Can I get uh, your reaction to everything that just went down, bro? Bro. I, I said coming into this one, people are always asking me, how's his chances? And prior to last week, I was feeling pretty confident. But last week went bad, boxing fight. Yeah. It wasn't a great performance, and uh, so I dropped his chances down like an 80-30 to a 50-50. Do you reckon that was Loki a blessing in disguise yes. that he did that? Yes. He took away some of that ring rust, the nerves, gave him an edge in this fight for sure, and now I'm so fucking proud of the kid. Uh, and you know, it's not just that he's stepping up and fighting something that people say they want to do, but when the time comes, they don't actually do it. There was a lot behind the scenes, right? In the yeah. last, but for us, 48 hours, but for him, the last couple months. A lot going on behind the scenes. A lot that would have made a lot of guys choke. He didn't choke. He rocked up. He got a first round knockout. So, Straight up. Give him, people got to give him his credit, man. Like, yeah, he's a, he's a TikTok fighter, but at the end of the day, he's a fighter. He's getting under the lights, under the brightest lights in Melbourne, and he's getting it done. He's willing to travel to Sydney, go into hostile enemy territory and, and win. So, I want people to just give O'Shane his credit. Give, give him his credit. Whatever you think about him, TikTok, whatever, give O'Shane his fair, fair shake. That's all I ask.